Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another Tinkercad laser project. So let's get cracking. Friends, this is going to be fun and fast. We are in Tinkercad. I always choose sign in with Google. Let's hit the new button, and we're going to do a 3D design. For this project, it is going to be a star, and I'm going to call it a star charm because we're going to cut this out of wood. It's going to be cute, it's going to be tiny. We are going to bring out the star. You'll notice it has no properties. There's nothing fun we can do. I am going to rotate it so that it looks like it's pretty straight. I'm doing 17 degrees. Let's see how close that is. So I'm lining it up with these grids right here. So 17 degrees was not it. And this really doesn't matter. This is just me being picky. So there's 18. No, that's not quite it. And then finally, let's try one more. I'm going to do one more degree. That looks pretty straight. Notice the gap there is cool. So friends, we have just created a flat star. Had no special properties. We are going to use export. And we're going to export it as an SVG. I'm going to put it in my downloads. It's going to be called Star Charm. I'm going to delete this one. So our part is now gone and we're going to do import and we're going to bring back that star charm. So once again, it's downloads, bingo. I just want the art. I'm going to keep the measurements and I'm going to hit import. Now, why did we do this? It looks the same, you know? Well, we did it because of fill mode. When you hit outer line, bingo, we have now got a shape where our star is going to have edges. We can change the line width. So let's say I do three. I'm going to make the corners round. So you can see it would be a rounded shape. You do have to wait a minute for that to kick in. There it is. If you were wearing a charm like this, that would be much more comfortable to wear. And then also, I want to put a hole in this for the charm to attach. I'm going to do that with the tube. This part is awesome because it also has parameters. I want this to be 4 for the radius, and I want the wall thickness to be 2. You see that is a nice size for attaching to a charm. I'm going to just nudge this down in with my arrow keys, and let's do a line to make sure it lines up. Once again, when you click a line, pick one piece to be the boss. I'm going to use the star, and bingo, our design is created. I'm going to do Control g which is group, and we're going to export that once again as a SVG. This one will be labeled final, though. Notice I'm going to put a little final after it so I know what it is. And friends, now we can take this awesome project out to the laser cutter. All right, everybody, we are out here with the At Ezer P10. Friends, we're going to try and cut that tiny little charm right out of there. Going to make sure I miss this attempt I had. Let's see how quickly we can get through this six millimeter piece of wood and make a cool charm. All right, so of course, step one is to click File and choose Import. I put it in my 3D modeling folder, so if we give it a second, it will show up. Bingo, there is that awesome star charm final. Now if we zoom in and look at it, you can see that it is one, two, three, four, five centimeters. I don't have that much wood, so I'm gonna hold down control and I'm gonna shrink it down. It's gonna be tiny, like two centimeters. That way we also can have two shots. Right now it is set up as a cut, which is how I want. I've got an inside cut and an outside cut, which is fantastic. Let's check what those are. Uh, it is 225 and it is 8. I believe the P10 is going to be able to do this in three passes, even with this crazy wood that I think is some sort of pine. Let's find out if I am right or if I'm wrong. Don't forget, if it ever doesn't power on, make sure you didn't bump your reset, which is what I had done. Now over here, I'm going to make sure we switch to the P10. And then also find the correct COM port. I'm going to try COM5. And then I'm going to try COM8. And bingo, we have found our laser. Laser. 
All right, so let's set out our piece of material. I'll move the laser out so you guys can see what's going on. Let's do a little shift move. See how much we have to adjust the housing. Remember, it has got the screw in the back. It's also got the sweet kickstand, so you're never looking for the measuring tool. Let's nudge over. A couple of shift nudges. Get it down to the right height over the macro. Lock it in place. Let's flip out that kickstand. I'm going to move this wood back a little more just so you guys get a better view of what's happening. Let's nudge out there. Let's frame it and see if she fits. Oh, uh, I have it set to absolute coordinates. Instead, I want to use current position. I'm aiming for the left corner because that's how I roll. Actually, let's see if I can squeeze it in on this side. I'm going to hit frame and check that. That's close. Let's do a couple of control nudges. One more frame. Do another control nudge up. One more frame. I like that. All right, friends, so we are grabbing the goggles. I am turning on my fan. And let's make something magical. Alrighty friends, that was crazy fast. Let's see how it turned out. Woo! That is spectacular. Oh my gosh. Tiny little project. A charm cut out in just minutes. How fun is that? Alright everybody, so there you have it. A super slick trick in Tinkercad to take any shape and turn it into an SVG so then you can add the lines to make it into a charm or whatever cool project you want to. And then of course we got another chance to check out the powerful at Ezer P10. Even though the design was tiny, it came out crisp and I could not be more pleased with the result. Of course, if you're interested in the laser, make sure you check the playlist on the final screen. And if you look down below, there will be a link so you can find out more about it as well. Finally, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, you make my day if you take time to leave a comment, question, or suggestion. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.